Chris Wingate. And welcome back to 30 Days to Building a Marriage You Love. Today we have tip number six, which is dun, dun, dun. encourage each other and build each other up. So um, I wrote down this as the list, like I took half the numbers and Chris took the other half. And so he was like, this is yours. What did you mean? And, uh, the biggest thing that I just wanted to share with this tip, which is a constant, I guess, reminder that we really try to apply, but it's really focusing on being your person's biggest champion. And so for example, here's what that would look like. So if Chris is maybe in a work situation, or maybe he is just navigating a season um, of his life, how can I come alongside as his teammate and his person and build him up in the ways that he is naturally wired, but then also encourage him where maybe he has bought into a lie from the enemy and he's not seeing himself in a super positive light. And I can come alongside of him and encourage him and say, actually, that's not who you are and remind him of all of these wonderful qualities about him that the Lord has gifted him. And I can remind him of those ways to help build him up, to have confidence and joy and even peace and clarity, even in, in that season. Would you say that's kind of accurate? Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> I would say so. So Proverbs 27, 17 says, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. And for us, that is something that has been a consistent theme throughout our dating time, as well as our marriage. And it's something that really drew me to Danielle. And I think drew me to her as well is the fact that. (laughs) You said drew me to Danielle, drew me to her as well. I did say that, didn't I? All right. So drew us to each other. He was very drawn to me. He was very drawn. (laughs) Um, Yeah. Various. (laughs) Various. <laughs> well, just keep going. Don't okay. we just still sit on there? Anyway, encouraging each other, challenging each other to be the best version of yourself. And something we talked about early on is, you know, what are our thoughts about marriage? And you know, is is it something that you know you're bringing fifty percent at at any given moment to each other? You know, it's a fifty fifty thing. Well, no, it's really not. It's it's a hundred and a hundred thing in order for it to be successful. But there are times that. Either one of us are just in a particular season or particular moment with something with, with work, with business, with, uh, with the kids. Or even just life. Like we feel off. Yeah. Sometimes the time of the month, like. (laughs) Maybe I'm 40% and, and she needs to pick up the other 60% to get us to hundred percent because for whatever reason, I'm just, I'm just there or, or I'm 80 and she's 20 and that's all she can bring because it is that time frame or other other things that are contributing to it and and we get to encourage each other in that moment and come alongside and continue to build each other up because the worst thing you can do in that time is run away from each other it's a great time to engage and and make sure that you meet your uh, your best friend in that moment to make sure that you can build them up when they're not necessarily feeling like it yeah. And I would say the the second worst thing that you could do, maybe these are going to be bullet points of what not to do, but I think the first thing for sure, run away and leave them. But the second worst thing would be to attack them and pick them apart. Because already, if you are feeling crummy, if you're feeling like the term that we use, um, this rarely happens as well. But if, if I were to ever spiral emotionally, if it doesn't really happen, it doesn't happen ever. But if I were periodically to do that. spiral emotionally, then you already know I have enough awareness of myself that I am not showing up well. But sometimes I don't get in front of that spiral and I just have to apologize and own it later. And sometimes encouragement and building up is not saying a word and it's just walking up and holding her. That's true too. And times that she does it, if she were to ever do it, I mean, we'll say if, yeah, like if, or sometimes just like holding like either side of my arms to just remind me like, okay, what do you need from me right now? I know that this is not the norm, 
And, you know, just to remind like, Hey, like you have a sound mind, you're okay. Like, what can I do to come alongside? Um, you know, and then just to encourage. And so usually even tonight we were talking about with our son, um, every behavior in a child serves a purpose. And you can even think about that. Like if your spouse, your person is acting out or they're having a tough time or a tough season, those actions are serving a purpose because of something inside. And so if me or you as, as the, as their teammate, if we can come alongside and figure out how do I focus my mind? How do I focus my words? How do I posture my behavior to come alongside and be your biggest champion right now? So you can see hope you can find strength. You can find encouragement and I can also have the awareness that if you're not okay right now, that is okay. It's not okay to stay here for long, but it is okay in this moment, in this day, not to be okay. But I can tell that you're raising the flag and I need to pick up more and that's okay too. Yeah. And what you'll see uh, in this class and a lot of the other ones is a consistent theme of serving the other person. So encouraging building up is centered on the other person is what do they need in that moment to bring out and meet them wherever they're at in that, in that moment. Uh, because, you know, like we talked about a couple, couple episodes ago, selfishness, selfishness, selfishness are the reason, the top three reasons that marriages fail. Yeah. And so how do I replace that with selflessness? Think about the other person, what they need and encourage them in that moment, build them up because you know what, that's how we sharpen each other. Yeah. That's actually, he's, he's leading him perfectly. Um, cause that's going to be video number seven. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up here. Um, but thank you for joining us for tool number six, uh, on serve the other person. No, <laughs> man, encourage, encourage and build, build up. up. Yeah. And obviously we're just going to flow right into this next one. Yeah. I'm Chris Wingate. <laughs> this is Danielle. Signing off.